Hi there, welcome to the first lesson in this, this new module. And what we're going to be looking at is the cascading style sheet language, otherwise known as CSS. And this is the sort of companion language to HTML, which allows you to instruct the browser uh, as to exactly how it can display your HTML page. So you'll remember when we looked at our page before that, that the browser was actually selecting fonts and sizes of text and doing a bit of layout for us. And we, we were sort of given limited control about how exactly everything looked. And that's because the idea of an HTML document is that it specifies the content of the page and the CSS document uh, aims to specify the way that the content is displayed. And so this separation means that, that it's very clear what should go where. So what we're going to do now is see what goes into a CSS file. So let's dive into the code and, and start writing some CSS. OK, so I've, I've just created a new file in my text editor. And uh, I'm, I'm going to just write some basic uh, CSS. So, so CSS sort of consists of what you might call a set of you know, instructions uh, where you modify how some part of the document is going to be displayed. So in this case, you can imagine this instruction applies to the body tag. So it says body there. And what I can then do is in these brackets, which are the curly brackets, I can start telling it how to, how to modify the text or, or display inside the body tag. So let's try something out. OK, so that says background colon green. So maybe you can guess what background green is going to do. Let's, let's try it out. So I'll save that. And uh, first of all, I'm going to call it styles.css. So the file name is styles.css, so the file extension is CSS. And I go back to my web page and reload. Well, oh, nothing's happened yet. Well, you actually have to tell the browser to use the styles CSS file before it can apply those styles to your file. It can't just magically find it, unfortunately. So we have to write another tag in our HTML which connects uh, our HTML document to that CSS file. So back into index.html, um, I'm editing that here. And you can see I'm in the top part of the document where inside the head, because this connecting a document to a, to a style sheet is not the actual content of the document. It's metadata, it's, it's information about the document. And what I have to write is something like this. Okay, link. And first of all, I'm, I'm sort of, so I'm making a link between a sort of semantic or meaningful link between this document and another document. It's not, not like a hyperlink, but it's kind of similar. And this link is actually saying, OK, here's, here's where you can find some styles which work with this document. Uh, so that's what that relationship thing means. And then I have to say what kind of uh, document it is. So I say type equals text slash CSS. And finally, I have to tell it where the document is. And so that's the file name that I just specified. So if we save this, and then go back to the browser and reload. Uh, I think you can see that my page has gone green. Uh, right, so that's great. Uh, but but um, what happens if I go to another page? Oh, well, it's gone white again. So, so the index page has gone green, but the about, about me page has stayed with a white background. I wonder if you can think, out, think about why that is. So how, how might I fix it? Well, I, I'll then have to get this link and put that into all of my documents. So I'll open up About Me, save that, and then open the final document, which is Contact, and I'm going to put the link in, in the top of that one as well. OK, great. So now, hopefully, they should all be green. Right. OK, so I've got three green documents, but maybe green isn't the best background colour. Uh, so I'm going I'm to actually spe specify the background colour as black. Let's see if we can do white text on a black background. So there we go. And again, it's not really ideal because it's a bit difficult to see those links. But still, you, what, you can, what you might notice is as I'm clicking through those three different pages, they've now, they all take on that updated style because all three of those pages are all looking at the same style sheet. And that's kind of one of the key points about CSS is that you write all the styles in, in one place and point all, all of your documents at it so that any changes you make to the styles immediately apply to all of the documents. 
Uh, so rather than having to change the style in every document every time you make an edit. So that's a really handy feature. Uh, so let, let's see if we can change the text style. And I want it to be white. Okay. So let's go to the home page. And sorry. So the instruction to change the text is actually uh, to, to specify color there. So color says, right, set the color of the text to white. But you can see that the, the A tags are still blue. So maybe, maybe we can fix that as well. So we just say, OK, I'm specifying a style for the A tag as well. And I want those to be, uh, maybe I'm going to make them uh, grey with the American US spelling. OK, so you can see now I've got grey links on all of my pages. OK, so, uh, so now, now I've kind of used colour to sort of differentiate between the main text of the document, which is that white uh, text, and uh, the, the links, which have now gone grey. And so, you see, I'm gradually gaining control over, over the sort of formatting of my web page. And so, what have we done? So, we've, how, we've learned how to include a, an external CSS file on our pages. And we've seen how we can do some basic changes to the way that the page is displayed. Um, and in the following lessons, we're going to see more uh, about how we can really gain control over how that page looks. Music